everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really pretty and oh so easy pot holder. So let's get started. You will need the following. You'll need one piece of fabric that is two inches by five inches and two squares of fabric, 100% cotton, that are ten and a half inches square. You will need two eight and a half inch squares of cotton batting or one square of cotton batting and one square of Insulprite which is a synthetic fabric that helps to block the heat. On the back side of one of the squares draw a line from corner to corner. So place your ruler lining it up to those two corners and then draw a line. Bring the two squares front sides together. So you're looking at the back of the fabric. On each side of the drawn line, here's my line that I drew. Go out one quarter inch and stitch. Go out on the other side and stitch a quarter of an inch. Then at your ironing board, go ahead and press this seam so that it relaxes the thread. Then place your ruler on top of that drawn line and cut it in half. Place the darkest fabric so that it is on top. Then unfold and press on top of the seam. As you're pressing, you're going to push against this seam to force this seam to go towards the darkest fabric. So don't stretch your fabric, just gently push against it. If it helps to hold this side up a little bit, then go ahead and do that. And that will help to push that seam. And then check on the back side, and it is. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other one. Have your square in this direction. Take a ruler and place it on the opposite corners. So you're placing it from the light side over to the darker side. Make sure it's nice and straight, then cut it in half. And do this on both of your squares. After you cut your blocks in half, take one piece from each block and swap it to the other side. Then, bring front sides together on both of them. Line up your center seam. Make sure the seam on the top is in the opposite direction of the seam on the bottom. And go ahead and place a pin to hold that seam in place. Then continue placing pins across and do the same thing on the other square. Then stitch one quarter inch seam along here. Now as you're stitching along this side, remember that this nail is cut on the bias. So it's going to stretch a little bit. So try not to pull and tug on the fabric. Press the seams on the back side. Then open them up and press the seam on top. And again, you're going to push against the seam on top to push this seam towards one side of the block, going that way. So you're trying to get it evenly going across all in one direction. And do the same thing with the other block. Now square each block to eight and a half inches square. I've taken a ruler and placed little post-it or sticky notes on the eight and a half inch line here and here. On your ruler is a diagonal line that goes from corner to corner. Place that diagonal line 
on one of your lines going from corner to corner. Now I'm left-handed so I do things a little backwards but all you need to do is just reverse it a little bit. So now you've got your line on top. Take the eight and a half inch line and move it to where it's touching the seam going this way. And the eight and a half inch line over here is touching the seam over here in this corner. So the best that you can do is it might be slightly off a little bit. Remember I told you how the fabric could stretch. Now trim the excess off on this side and then cut it on this side. Take this corner and bring it around over to here. Take your eight and a half inch lines here and here and place it on the two previously cut edges. Make sure that that diagonal line is fairly close on top of that seam. Make sure everything is lined up. If you did the first two sides correctly, it should line up. So now you're going to cut these two sides. And there you go. Now do the same thing to your other square. Take the fabric for the loop and have the back of the fabric facing up. Fold it in half and then press with your iron. Unfold it. Take the sides and bring it in to where it meets that folded pressed line in the middle and press. And take the other side in and press it also. Now fold it in half and press it one more time. Then stitch close to the edge all along this side. I usually wait till my block is created before I cut my cotton batting out so that I can get it to be exactly the same size. So luckily both squares turned out to be exactly the same size. So I'm just going to lay one down for now and I'm going to cut around it. And so I'm just going to lay it right there on the edge and on this edge here and cut out my pieces. This way everything fits real nice and you don't have to shift things around so much. And now I'm just lining my ruler up here on the other edge down here putting eight and a half inch lines right over here and making sure everything is nice and straight and then cut the last two sides. Place the loop like this and I place pins on each side to hold it in place and center it up at one of the edges. Then take your other square, place it on top. Then place pins all around the edges around all of the sides. Up here at this edge is where the loop is. At the opposite end, we'll call this the bottom, you're going to leave an opening. Mine's about three and a half inches wide. You're going to stitch one quarter inch seam all the way around all of the edges except over this opening. So start here and back stitch stitch down to this corner and when you get a quarter of an inch away from this corner leave your needle down through your fabric and lift up your presser foot turn the pot holder lower the presser foot and continue stitching and do that at all the corners when you get over here back stitch 
and make sure you back stitch a few times across where your loop is. Next, cut some of the corners off because once you turn it front side out, these corners are going to be very bulky. So get rid of some of it. So cut it down to maybe to where there's an eighth of an inch width down there at the corner. And I first like to cut across this way and then I'll cut a little bit off on the side there and let me turn it a little bit and a little bit over here. Do that at all four corners. At the opening, turn the edges inside one quarter inch, pin it closed, and then stitch close to the edge all the way across. To keep all of the layers from shifting apart while it's being used, stitch across here and across here. For more quick and easy potholder projects, play this video until a green screen appears and then click on the links. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, would you please click on that old thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address. Click on that bell so you receive the email notifications to your phone. I'm Cheryl and this is Manny and see you next time. Happy sewing!